I'm walking to the coffee shop and I'm gonna do some painting there. I've drawn out uh, I've drawn out a baddie that I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna paint at a coffee shop. Hopefully I can find a little cup to use my watercolors with. Okie doke! with the plan I made in the last video, I'm painting a bunch of assets for the next phase of my game. And I wanted to make the baddie in a similar style to Bobo, so you'll see he has a little paunch belly and the same kind of feet and the shading is similar as well. The original plan was to have him as a baddie, but I think he turned out way too awesome to be just a bad guy, so we'll see what I end up using him for, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I had no idea how I was gonna do this, but I thought I'd just try to start painting some different frames and see where it went. And then I paint a similar set of frames for the projectile spawn animation that ends in a splat, so I thought they looked decent enough. I took each frame I painted and stacked them up on top of each other in Photoshop. Then I basically rotated and shifted them to make keyframes, and then combined different parts of each keyframe to make the frames in between. It was pretty arduous work, but I was so stoked when I saw it run for the first time. So for the projectile, I pretty much followed the same pattern where you can see I stack all of the different keyframes as different layers on top of each other and then combine them for layers in between so it looks a little bit more like a smooth animation. Uh, I got a little bit tired of Photoshop so I only did the projectile spawn and not the animation for the projectile splat, but I'll get to that another time.
so I'm recording this using my streaming rig. As you can see, I have gotten my little uh, animations in the game here, which is dandy. It looks better in the scene. I can zoom in a bit. There. You can see um, my animations. It's so cute. I like them. They look so good. They're just going. It makes me want to just animate like little parts of my scene just to have little animations going. I don't know. I think it just makes the world look more full. Another little thing that I did is I put in a big leaf here as a platform and I just put a edge collider around it. So <laughs> Bobo can jump on it. It doesn't look good with this camera size. You have to see the whole thing. There. I knew something was funky. So there you have it. I have my projectile just uh, going into nowhere and I've got my tree growing and I got my leaf platform. So it's really coming together. Very pleased. <laughs> uh, that's about it. Hello from my new tripod. You may not recognize the angle. I made the character. This is what the character looks like and I really like him. He's super cool. I don't know if I want him to be a bad guy to be honest. I think he looks like perhaps a second player. We'll see. Um, I decided to name him Bronto. So we got Bobo and Bronto. Actually, maybe I'll see what he looks like on top of the world because I have a screenshot of the world here. Maybe I'll just, uh, I'll just do that quickly. <laughs> okay. He looks great. All right, so I can already see a couple of problems just with the shading on him. Uh, it's hard to see his torso compared to Bobo's. I'm gonna darken his torso. And that's it. Maybe I'll lighten his knees. And I might just shift his colors to make him a little more yellow so he doesn't blend in too much with the trees. So. Ba -da -da -da. Da -da -da. I think I have to give him multiple arms. Oh my gosh, how cool does this look with the double forearms with singular upper arms? Oh my god.
This looks so good. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Bronto looks freaking awesome. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Did you hear all of those puns?